Hi, my name is Devin, and today I'll be presenting a new line of cases from Senti, the Black Box Series 1. Now, after viewing this video, if you have any more questions, go ahead and go to our website at www.senti.com. Now, before taking a detailed look at one of these cases, um, let me explain to you exactly what is the Black Box Series 1. Now, the Black Box Series 1 consists of 17 different cases, but each one of these cases has the exact same base structure. Now, what's different about these 17 cases is that you can personalize them by choosing from seven different front panels and three different side panels. Now before moving on, let's take a look at the three different side panel versions. Now this example here has a front panel which corresponds to the Black Box Series 1. Um, so it's a BX1-4282 front panel. And the three different side panels are version 2.1, 2.2, and 2.3. This is a version 2.1 side panel. And it comes with 220 millimeter cooling fans on the side comes with blue LEDs. And behind this mesh entry is a anti-dust filter, which you can remove and clean and put back. And that's gonna keep the inside of the case free from dust and protect everything on the inside. And here we've got another version of the Black Box Series 1. And this is gonna come with the version 2.2 side panel. And before we take a look at the side panel, note that the front panel is distinct from the last one that I showed you. This is the front panel of the 4246. So this is a BX1 4246 with a version 2.2 side panel. And this version 2.2 side panel has a very large lateral cooling fan with blue LED. It's a 220 millimeter cooling fan. And this has got a fan speed control dial here on the side. It's a manual dial, which is directly here on the fan and controls the speed of the side fan. And here we have an example of the version 2.3. Um, we see this is a similar front that we saw before, the 4282. But since this is a version 2.3, the front cooler fan is, instead of a blue LED, comes with a red LED. Because you can see on the side panel, we've got a clear window into the inside of the case. And it comes with an included 120 millimeter cooling fan with a red LED. And you've got an optional mounting space for an additional 80 millimeter cooling fan on the side. And as an example of the black box series, I have here the version 2.1. And let's start by taking a look at the box that this comes in. Here at the front of the box, we see pictures of the three different versions of the black box series. And note some of the important features. We've got HD audio, got two USB ports, in addition to some fan controls. Now, taking a look at the first side, we've got the three different versions here, and it's noted which of the versions comes in the box. And what this side shows is the cooling system. It notes which type of cooler comes with which type of version, and it notes the size and the color of the LEDs on the coolers. Now on the other side, we've got the dimensions of the case, the height, the width, and the depth. And down here, these black box series cases have optional power supplies. And this sticker indicates the specifications for the power supply that it comes with, the amount of current for each of the power rails, as well as all the connectors that come, uh, that are available with the power supply. And finally, the back of the case, Got some detailed pictures of the important features, the tool-free features for, for installing the optical drives as well as the internal hard drives. We've got the anti-dust protection system. It comes with removable filters that are removable and washable. And finally, we've got some pictures of the ventilation system, the front panel connections, and we show that it supports water cooling or liquid cooling systems. Over here, we have a detailed picture of the structure of the black box series. 
And down here, we've got important features listed in Spanish, English, and Portuguese. And finally, all of the motherboard connections, the USB connections, and the audio connections. And let's go ahead and open up this box. Let's see what we've got in here. First thing we have is the instruction manual and a product warranty card. Now this instruction manual for the Black Box Series 1 uh, details all the seven different front panels as well as the three different side panels. Now we've got the case out of the box and we see that it's well protected. We've got two styrofoam bricks as well as a plastic protection here. Keeps everything scratch-free and dent-free. All right, now the dimensions of the Black Box series are 17 and 3 quarter inches high, 7 and a half inches wide, and they're 19 inches deep. Let's start by taking a look at the front of the case, beginning from the top. Here we've got the on-off switch, and surrounding the power button, we have the light that indicates whether the computer's on or off. We've got the reset button, and below that, the hard drive activity LED. And here we've got a variable fan speed controller, which allows you to regulate the speed of the internal cooling fans headphone and microphone jacks, as well as two USB ports on the front panel. Now moving below, we have room for three five and a quarter inch optical drives. And the top one of these bays opens and closes, allows you to keep the nice clean looks of the case and have easy access to your optical drive. Moving below, we have room for one three and a half inch drive. This can be used as a memory card reader. And down below, we've got a front cooling fan with a blue LED, which is gonna shine through this front mesh panel. Removing the front panel of the black box, we see some of the features of the cooling as well as the anti-dust system. And we see the entire front panel is all mesh. And the back side of the front panel, we see the anti-dust protection system. We've got foam filters, which are removable and washable. So the whole front panel behind the drive bays, as well as behind the cooling fan, is all protected with this dust protection system. While we're here, we can see all the front panel connections that go inside the computer. We've got the audio connection, the motherboard connections here for the power switch, the hard drive activity light, the reset button, Molex connections for the fan, and we've also got the USB connections for the front panel. Okay. Now taking a look at the top of the case, here at the top of the black box, we see a very large ventilation opening covered with mesh and there's room and mounting holes for two optional cooling fans and each of these fans would be 120 millimeters. And turning the case around to the back, we've got a cooling fan here at the top with a mesh opening, two access holes if you want to install a water or liquid cooling system. These access holes have rubber grommets for protection room for seven PCI cards for expansion. Down here we have a, the opening for the power supply. And up here we've got access for the motherboard I.O. at the back side. And let's pick up the case and take a look at the bottom. Now here we see a removable dust filter. You can take this off, clean it. Keeps everything nice and clean inside. And down here, before I put that on, we've got ventilation right below the power supply. 
We have another ventilation for the main cabinet inside the case. You can add an optional cooling fan here. We've got one more ventilation opening here directly below the hard drive bay. And again, you can note um, part of the anti-vibration system, we've got four rubber feet at the bottom. And I'm gonna take off the side panel here. And this is version 2.1, so it comes with the two cooling fans on the side. Uh, the black box series is painted in high gloss black, which gives it a nice contrast with the color LED cooling fans. And the whole structure is made out of 0.6 millimeter SCCC steel, and it's finished with rounded edges. So while you're working inside this, you don't get any accidental cuts or scratches. All of the black box cases come with two cooling fans in the structure itself. The first one at the front is 120 millimeters. And in this case, as is the case with all of the cases that have the front mesh panels, it's got a colored LED. This version 2.1 is blue. And on the back side, we've got another 120 millimeter cooling fan. And this case, this is the just a plain black cooling fan. And the exception to this is in the 2.3 version, we've got red LEDs on the front and the back. And in the 2.1 and 2.2 versions, we've got just the plain black fan back. And moving on with the inside of the case, uh, we see that it comes with a little bag of accessories. Now, as I mentioned before, the black box series has an anti-vibration system. And part of this anti-vibration system down here where the power supply is installed. We see the opening for the power supply in the back is surrounded by a foam rubber uh, isolation pad. And down here where you mount the power supply, we've got two rubber feet to further isolate vibrations from the power supply. Another great feature of the Black Box series is its complete tool-free system. This allows you to install optical drives up here without any tools. Also in the hard drive bays, you can slide out these aluminum trays and these uh, tool-free mounting um, bars here on the side allow you to put your hard drive in there, put it in there, and then slide the tray back in. And these aluminum trays also have room for a slim cooling fan in there if you want to further cool down the hard drive bay. Okay. And the last part of the tool-free system is back here in the rear. We've got these seven PCI expansion slots, and you're gonna be able to install your PCI cards with these tool-free clips. And now let's open up the other side of the black box here. Got these thumb screws. That kind of slides off. Here on the back side of the cabinet, you can see uh, the motherboard mounting plate. We've got the cutout here, which allows you to mount a cooling system for the CPU after you've already mounted the motherboard. You've got plenty of room for access there. And we've also got plenty of access holes, which allow you to run all the wiring on the back side of this mounting plate, and that'll keep the inside of the cabinet clutter-free and also allow more air to flow and keep everything nice and cool inside the case. Okay, so today we've taken a look at the Black Box Series 1 cases from Senti. And here we've got a complete system fully put together, the front face of the model 4284, and the side panel corresponding to the version 2.3. Now we see on the side panel this large plastic window. Um, we've got the red cooling fans on the front and the side. We'll go ahead and open up the side panel. Take a look at the inside. You see we've got plenty of space to install whatever you need to install. Nice large graphics card. You got plenty more room for PCI expansion. You've got room for all your disk drives and your optical drives up here.
Now that's all we have today for the Black Box Series 1 cases from Senti. If you have any more questions, go ahead and go to the website at www.senti.com. Again, my name is Devin, and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.